Good afternoon, sir. Beautiful. Bells, bells, this is bloody coffee! I ordered tea! Uh, I say, you there. See that glorious piece of British engineering in front of you? Look at the musket and press F to pick it up. Wonderful! You are armed, sir. Now, let's do some damage to those targets in front of you. Oh, well done, sir! If you wish, you may reload your weapon and fire again. To reload, click the left mouse button and wait for your character to finish reloading. It will take a couple of seconds, so be patient. Remember, though, you cannot move while reloading. Once you feel that you've gotten the hang of it, you may move on to the next area on the left, where the arrow is pointing. There are times in battle where it's preferable to get up close and personal with old Frenchie. And that is why you're- Excellent! You are now in melee mode and ready to charge those dummies with your bayonet. But before you do that, there's another important matter you should know about. You do not have to stand up all the time. You can also crouch. Press Z to do so. Good! Well done! Now that you've mastered the basics of infantry combat, we'll move- So you've mounted up! Excellent! To move while mounted, you will- Marvelous! Now, bring the horse to a stop. It is time to do some horseback shooting. You see those tires? Oh, Helen Buckshot! You've missed! Uh, don't worry though, you can still reload and try again, just as before. But remember, the rule that you have to be still while firing counts on horseback as well. You can try again once you have reloaded your firearm. Now you've got it! You can keep practicing some more if you wish. Once you are ready to proceed, we will cover the basic joys of horseback melee combat. You will require a sword for this. To switch to the sword, scroll your mouse wheel upwards. Just as with shooting, melee fighting on horseback is similar to fighting on foot. So, ride alongside those dummies and destroy them. Try to hit them while maintaining movement, as standing still takes away your advantage in speed and maneuverability. If you time your strikes right, you can hit the enemy and be well away before the blighter even knows he's dead.
Uh, splendid! You now know the most important aspects of cavalry fighting. Finally! It's time for some artillery training. Walk up to the cannon and take some ammunition from the box. There are three main types of ammunition. Round shot is a multi-purpose shot that is especially useful against <gasps> buildings. Canister shot releases a hail of grape shot that kills anyone right in front of the cannon. But it is notoriously ineffective at hitting long-range targets. Explosive shells are extremely effective against enemy troops as they explode sending metal fragments flying in all directions. Explosive shells, however, will not work with standard cannons. Put the ammunition into the barrel from the front of the cannon. To do so, look at the front, and once you see the text, Place Ammunition, hold down F until the progress bar reaches the end. Now, you need to use your ramrod to reload the cannon. Again, look at the front of the barrel and hold F until done. Before you can fire, you will want to push the cannon forward. To do so, finally, look at the back of the barrel until you see the message, Take Control. Then, press F to take control of the cannon. Now you control the cannon, sir. Again, use the mouse to aim. Pressing the left mouse button will fire the cannon, and pressing the right mouse button will cancel control. But for now, press the left mouse button to fire. Jolly good. This is the end of the tutorial. You now know all the basics of fighting in Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars. Press tab to leave this tutorial when you are ready. Good luck on the battlefield, sir. Dismissed for tea and crumpets.